Um, and I'm Eloise Walker. I'm the director of Lemons. Lemons is uh, about a hollow young woman who shares a final joke with her dead mother. Something that we were saying right from the get-go with this film, um, it is sort of like a, a bit of a... It's, it's a tragedy, but it has comedic moments, and I guess a lemon yeah. is bittersweet, and that yeah. was sort of like a term that we were using in the development of the film, always remembering to keep it, even in the saddest moments, keeping it a bit light. Light, yeah. Um, which is sort of, I guess, also... Yeah. It is the main theme of the film, that in tragedy there is also s still humour yeah. sometimes. I guess um, it was sort of mm. a, a story or sort of a, a bunch of vignettes that we had been talking yeah. about for a really long time yeah. and then the challenge was weaving them into um, a narrative, yeah, yeah. narrative uh, or something with an arc, which was probably the most difficult part and that's when yeah. it became something that was less of like, oh, wouldn't it be funny if the same girl yeah. went through all of these horrible yeah. things <laughs> and, and yeah. more about, oh, okay, well shit, maybe it's not as funny as we thought and it's there more, is yeah. some depth to this <laughs> yeah. than, yeah, that's than true. just this girl having horrible experiences. Yeah, that's true. I don't know, some people would maybe say it's a heavy-handed hint at how people are trying to, uh, how people should interpret the film. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I guess it, it is also giving them permission to laugh at those moments rather yeah. than having to take them as like with that much with as much gravity as they probably should yeah that's true <laughs> the film that we made was the first thing that i directed and yeah. i don't know if it was it like one of the first things that you wrote oh, like start properly, to finish yeah properly. yeah or like the first thing that's been made that you yeah wrote, right? like properly yeah, yeah um so there's nothing that should stop you from doing doing it the first yeah. thing <laughs> like you, you got to do the first thing sometimes um yeah. sometime um, don't put it off Just yeah do it. Uh, and you, you'll make mistakes, um, but you learn from those mistakes mm. and you learn from your own set. Yeah. And, um, yeah, and you'll learn to make things better and you'll understand your style better and yeah. process of elimination, I guess. The more things you make, the more you understand about yourself and how you want to make things yeah. and what you want to make. and What you want to do. What you want to do. I think it's really important to have a good understanding of what everybody does on the crew. Yeah. Obviously, there's no way that you could thoroughly understand what every single person does because there are so many intricate jobs on a film set mm. um but it just yeah it is really important to be able to especially as a director to understand what people do creatively mm. and what their processes are so that you can talk to them in a language that they understand and that you can also empathize with what this what the challenges that each person on the crew faces and also I guess the biggest thing is when you're on another set is to learn what not to do and that's something yeah. that I, that's probably the, the best learning experience from being on um, a set that isn't yours yeah. because you just um, want to make sure things like that don't happen when you're in charge um, from, <laughs> like a, from a production point of view but also when you're a director too. Um, and I think that's really important. But in terms of um, collaborating with lots of different people in Berlin, I think especially moving to a new place when you don't know anyone and um, trying to uh, put yourself into a certain scene, it's really important to be really collaborative and whether that means saying yes to a few things maybe you haven't done before or um, trying, yeah, trying out some new things, I think it's always a great thing to do as well in that regard. You face the challenges. I smoke bombed. I got straight out of there. <laughs> Goodbye. Here's the script. See you later. <laughs> um, I guess uh, it was a st it was a student film. So for yeah. us, um, a, a few of the problems came out of inexperience, I guess, and also yeah. um, because it was we had a bit of a budget, but that mainly went to um, equipment hire yeah. and catering, I guess. So obviously none of the crew was paid, even yeah. the people who were volunteer. Yeah, yeah, were experienced. And I guess with, as with any volunteering experience, um, people aren't able to commit themselves 100%. Yeah, and so there's always working, working around people's paid schedules and working yeah. around um, work commitments and stuff like that and trying to get everyone in the room at the same time is always a big challenge, to be honest. We haven't made anything together Not since yet, Lemons. No. Meg's been spending a bit of time writing. Writing and emailing Eloise. <laughs> <laughs> Different things. Um, You've done a bit more actual like I've, um, industry work. Made yeah. Well, I've been working in the film industry for a while. I was working at a company in Sydney called Photoplay Films for around two years, 
um, and that was sort of um, production, mm. but also directors as, as a director's assistant. So I was sort of making treatments and stuff like that for um, TVCs. Uh, so that's what I was doing as well as developing um, a few fashion films with another close friend of mine under a collective called Sticky Pearls. And so we we're making a couple of Very fashion good, yeah. films. Um, yeah, for sort of the area that we wanted to target with the fashion films was up and coming designers. So I guess like as indie filmmakers, we wanted to extend the, um, the helping hand to mm. indie fashion designers as well, because obviously if they're not a big brand, it's not like a production company is going to reach out yeah, to them and true. make something with a big budget for a brand that hasn't sold a collection or launched any um, mm. clothing yet. So I guess it's a good way to get their name out there and get their um, work out there as well as being able to be creative in a way that isn't just music videos because I feel like for um, indie directors as well, a lot of the time, even P even TVC commercial directors um, sometimes get stuck in not being able to be as creative as they like mm. and tend to lend themselves to music videos to, to let out that creativity. Um, but yeah, fashion film is like another, it has been in the pipeline for uh, the last couple of years of sort of coming up to being another way to do that. I've been travelling for about four weeks, which is a lovely thing to do after university if you don't have a job or any direction. <laughs> um, so I've been writing a lot, which is very, like, it's great for me, and I'm going to leave those scripts, but there's about three with Eloise do with what she will, because that's her thing. <laughs> <laughs> um, other than reading Meg's scripts and yeah. seeing what we can do with them. them. Um, <laughs> I have been working on a couple of, well, I've shot a short film yeah. and that's in post-production and that was um, the first thing I shot in Berlin, which is exciting. Very exciting. Um, and also I'm producing some a documentary for a friend of mine who's also working here at the moment and in my other spare time, I've been helping out on a couple of other indie film productions yeah. um, with some friends in Berlin as well, which is cool. So I've get, I, I get to sort of like test a few different waters. I think it's very exciting because it's a, what, at the same time as being an international festival, it also feels very homey for us Australians. Does that make sense to you? Hmm. Yeah. Well, it's kind of weird for me because um, I'm only quite fresh here in Berlin, so for me, it's sort of starting to feel like my home here, but it also feels a little bit foreign. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Seeing my film play on a German, on a Berlin film screen yeah. is something that's pretty special and brings a little bit of home to my new home as well, which is kind of nice. And it also feels like a nice little welcome present Aww. in some way. Yeah. Mm -hmm.